Monday, May 19th. Okay, so we have the moon in Libra pretty much all day, but here's the kicker. The moon is going to go void, of course, at 11.49 a.m. And again, we're talking Eastern Standard Time. We will not be moving into Scorpio energy until 6.35 p.m. Monday evening. That is a huge time frame for the moon to be void, of course. And when the moon is void, things are shaky, things are unstable, things are uncertain. And having the moon go void, of course, in Libra energy, nonetheless, the most indecisive back and forth, up and down, all over the place type of energy. Of course, we're trying to achieve peace, harmony, and balance, but that really doesn't happen when the moon is void. I feel like that is an indicator that the next couple of days here are going to be back and forth, push and pull, up and down. Especially seeing as today is the very last day of Taurus season. We're moving into Gemini season here tomorrow while the moon is void. And I don't know about y'all, that, that to me just sounds like we are going to be all over the place mentally, emotionally, and likely have a lot of physical situations and circumstances pop off to really put us in a different mood, different attitude, and totally different perspective. I see that as a huge indicator. We have a lot of energies popping off here today. Again, trying to kind of successfully complete and wrap up Taurus season. Of course, if you've listened to Saturday's energy forecast, you would know we had some major conjunctions take place, really kind of helping to solidify, to anchor, to ground in this Taurus energy, to open us up to taking risks, to putting ourselves out there, renewing and recharging us, if you will, with this new, I'm going to say faith, hope, optimism, confidence. So we're kind of barrel rolling in today, feeding off of those particular energies. And once the moon goes void, I just feel like it's going to be hard for us to feel grounded, to feel like we're on the right page. We do have some lovely energies popping off here today to really kind of refresh and renew our soul and our spirit. However, the up and down, back and forth of trying to balance out those Libran scales, definitely going to be challenging here today. So there are 10 different aspects taking place here today. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. The moon, while still in this Libran energy, is going to make an awkward interaction with first Venus, and Venus rules over this Libran energy, and then Jupiter, because of course Venus and Jupiter both were involved in conjunctions here yesterday, and then the sun, which again, also involved in the conjunctions here yesterday. So first of all, you know, we are trying to find a new grounding spot in our emotional realm. We've had a change of part. There's new wants, needs, and desires. We're putting ourselves out there. We're willing to take a risk. We're willing to kind of break away from our comfort zone to see what is possible outside of the boundaries that we found ourselves very comfortable within. The moon interacting with Jupiter, again, trying to keep us boosted in that optimism, in that confidence, trying to keep us in alignment with the wisdom, the knowledge that we've already accumulated accumulated from tough love life lessons in our previous experiences. And then when the moon and the sun come together, there's a new emotional awareness. So this is definitely pushing us into a growth phase. We're coming to the end of Taurus season. The slow, steady pace is definitely going to be behind us once we move into Gemini energy. These particular interactions definitely setting us up for success. But the last aspect that the moon in Libra energy is going to make before going void, of course, is a tough one. It's an opposition to Mars. Mars is the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in his rulership in Aries energy. He's getting restless. He has ants in his pants. He wants to take action and make moves. We're building in our motivation, in our inspiration in our determination to actually get the ball rolling. But of course, an opposition means we're at odds with this particular energy. This is likely going to come on as a, I'm going to say a wave of urgency. Like we got to hurry up. We got to make up for lost time. But of course, emotionally speaking, the moon in Libra, we don't want to tip the balance of the scales in that kind of rush 
type of aggressive behavior. We want to take things slow. We want to kind of, you know, make sure that we're not acting out of impulse, acting out of aggression. So emotionally speaking, there is this side of us that wants to kind of hurry up and get things started. But there's this other part of us that is like, you know what, we should step back. We're not feeling very confident. We're not feeling very solid. We're kind of overwhelmed with these impulses, with these urgency. Let's just take a time out. Again, the scales of the emotional and mental plane in our inner realm are not balanced enough, not in alignment enough to engage the physical body that Mars rules over to take action to make moves. So there's a little bit of, again, the back and forth, the ebb, the flow, the up, the down going on in our inner realm. This is when the moon goes void, of course. And it's a very interesting dynamic that we're sitting in a void for this long. The moon then goes ahead, directly opposes the north node in this Aries energy as well. So this is like we are stepping back and now we're looking at our options and now we're not confident about any of them. We're not sure. The indecisiveness of this Libra energy is definitely going to put us in a state of paralysis. There is a tendency to kind of step back into egoic programming, step into the fears, the doubts, the insecurities, really try to talk ourselves out of growth, out of healing, out of evolving out of changing and that isn't going to do us any favors now we sit in that energy for hours and then the moon in libra still void of course is going to make a positive interaction with uranus the great awakener in the taurus energy so this is going to be a major shift in our mood in our attitude we're being reminded of let's call it earlier situations and circumstances where we were feeling sure where we were feeling optimistic and confident, where we were feeling ready to boss up to the challenge of trying to do new things and open our heart and open our head up to a brand new path. Again, feeding off of the conjunction here yesterday, we've had a major change of heart. Now we actually have to take control over our physical realm and start maneuvering the aspects of our lives, rearranging them, if you will, to create a space where we can actually move forward in a new path and in a new direction. So this is a beautiful aspect. The sun in Taurus energy coming to the end of the Taurus degrees is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Neptune, who of course is in his place of power in this Pisces energy. We love this. This is bringing like, a, I'm going to call it very sensitive, very soft, very serene type of vibe. We're actually moving into our inner realm. We're tapping into our higher self. We're tapping into our intuition. We're kind of seeing things from a more spiritual perspective perspective, you know, how everything is working together and the domino effect of kind of creating this beautiful space where we are essentially leaving the old self behind and we are anchoring in this new version of self. This is really going to help us kind of remind ourselves from a spiritual aspect why we're going through what it is that we're going through. This is going to strengthen our intuition, strengthen our imagination. This is going to put us in a situation where we're trusting our intuition over our, let's call it egoic instincts. This is going to open up a totally different perspective for us to see see the situation and circumstances through an energetic lens. This means that we may find ourselves in a very good mood, a very good attitude. This is going to put us in a situation where we feel a lot more tuned in than we have in the previous days. This is going to put us in a situation where we're actually feeling that things are working out for us, that things are actually unfolding in a favorable way. It feels like we're in the right place at the right time. We may not be able to actually make Make sense of it or articulate what is about to come but we feel like we're in alignment with the cosmos we feel like we're in alignment with our higher self there is again this renewal energy coming to the emotional and mental realm that of course is going to put us in alignment going to infuse us with this let's call it spiritual strength and help us gain a bigger broader perspective of where it is that we need to go from here this particular energy is definitely going to put us in a hypersensitive mode. So we have to be cautious that we're not going to get overwhelmed with it, that we're not going to kind of lose ourselves in the la la land and totally detach and disconnect from reality. We do have the sun still in this Taurus energy 
giving us a grounded anchor type of energy for us to explore the inner realm of our intuition, our imagination, and then understand how it is that we can bring some of these aspects to life. Beautiful vibe. However, just when we're feeling good, just when we're kind of in alignment, the moon in this Libra energy, void, of course, is going to make a very harsh interaction with Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. He rules over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. He's in Pisces energy, trying to wrap up a 30-year cycle, trying to totally collapse the old false limiting set of beliefs that we all have within us, trying to, again, uh, remove that from our experience as we close the door on the old version of self, this is going to bring in a little bit of a reality check. This is going to bring us back down to earth, which of course doesn't feel so well. It is going to essentially take all of that light, fluffy, magical, spiritual vibes that we were kind of floating in and it smack dabs us back down onto earth. Now we're like, okay, that's great to have a dream, a vision. That's great to have, you know, this new creative vision on what it is that you want to explore. Now what are you going to do with it? Are you just going to live inside your head with La La Land? Or are we actually going to get to the hard part, which is planning and strategizing how it is that we're actually going to bring some of these aspects to life? So no, that doesn't feel so good, especially coming out of a light, fluffy vibe such as the sun and Neptune has created. However, it's putting us in a very good situation for the next aspect, which happens to be Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger in his rulership in this Aries energy. Coming up to, bumping into, teaming up with the North Node in Aries energy. So again, this is a conjunction. This is just as much an ending as it is a beginning. This is a, I'm going to say, a closing of the door on the agitation, frustration, restlessness, and ants in the pants and an opening up of the door of understanding where it is that we're feeling a lot more prepared to rise up to the challenges that are currently in our face, to step out of our comfort zone, to actually get in the mood, the attitude, the vibe, to grow, to improve, to heal, to actually get this party started and start moving forward. This is going to really put us in a very strong determination type of mood to pursue our new goals. This is like fire, a new spark being ignited within us, if you will, lighting not only a, a fire in our heart space, but under our ass to get our shit together so we can actually move forward. Our passions, our desires are becoming overwhelming at this point, and we're going to have to do something about it. So that is a beautiful vibe for us to kind of, you know, sit in, especially in the final degrees of this Taurus season, because that's how we anchor in passions and desires in our physical realm and reality that we then can act upon, build, create something new and bring something new to life. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon. In this Libran energy, Void, of course, making a very positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in her rulership in Taurus energy. She also rules over the Libran energy that the moon is in. So emotionally speaking, again, we're feeding off of the conjunction that Venus had here yesterday, where we're opening up our heart space. Now is the time to take action and make moves to be forthcoming a little bit more straight up with our emotions, with our thoughts with our feelings, with what it is that we want to see happen, and therefore what it is that we need to see change, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned. Now, this is a positive interaction, so we are feeling emotionally empowered, if you will, to put ourselves out there, to stand up for ourselves, to declare what it is that we want, need, and desire, to declare what it is that we want to build and create and actually bring to life here in the physical realm. So this is a very powerful change of heart. This is a very intense energy that we are all experiencing here to wrap up Taurus season and to kind of set the tone on what it is that we want to accelerate, press that fast forward button on as we enter into Gemini season.